Welcome back to the channel. Hit the sub button, because why not? You're already here. Riddle me this. Why would you release a ball called the afterburner before the burner? All right, all jokes aside, today we have two brand new releases that came out on July 2nd, 2021. 900 Global, Burner Solid, and Burner Pearl. Now I'm gonna be comparing it to the Afterburner, which came out, I don't know when, but before July 2nd, 2021. So we're gonna start with the Burner Solid because I would typically probably start with the Solid before the Pearl. Now we're bowling on the 2020 USB-C Team Pad. I'm just kidding, it's the 2019 version. There was no Open Championships in 2020 due to COVID. Let's see what we got. Solid bowling ball. I'll talk about the layouts after I throw this first shot. <laughs> That's what you want to see out of a new bowling ball. That's a COVID hit. Anyways, I've got two different layouts. We've got a five by four by one, I think. The main difference between the two layouts is one has a one inch buffer, the other ones have a two and a half inch buffer. Now the pearl balls are laid out the same, so we're gonna get a little bit of a closer comparison with those. Um, but we're gonna compare the solid to the pearl we're gonna do some surface changes, and then we're gonna compare the burner to the afterburner. Now let me pick up this spare. Don't do this at home, your bowling centers might get very angry. Yeah, I got the seven pin on lock, I gotta figure this out. Not, not one of my better trick shots, I don't know. But if you've ever bowled a pro with me, you know, I suck at splits, I get them sometimes. Let me know in the comments if you've bowled a pro with me before and I've actually converted a spare, because it's probably like a 12% conversion rate. So I did put a stronger layout on this just to see what it would give me. With the shorter buffer, it gets the ball to transition faster. It flares more, so it actually reads earlier and it kind of gets off the spot a little harder too. So I know those two things sound a little bit backwards, but that's just what I'm seeing. See, I, I just, I'm building it up, the suspense. I threw the first one kind of bad, made my adjustments with the hand. 10 back. All right, now we're gonna move on to the pearl. What I'm seeing out of this one, with this layout, particularly compared to the solid, it's a little cleaner and a little smoother. Now that doesn't really make sense to me, but I'm trying to work out the logistics in my head so that it does make sense. I haven't got that one in and it still kind of blended off it pretty good. I think if I get the solid one there, flares too much, ramps off it, might trip the six pin, I don't know. I will tell you right now, these two bowling balls, bang for your buck. Now, typically, when you first start bowling, you don't hook the ball very much. We get you into like a tropical storm type deal. But these balls, for the price point, compared to the tropical storm, you get way more out of it. Once you start to learn how to hook it a little more, I'm gonna take a small step to the left. I don't even know where I was standing, but hopefully this is further left. The game works dead zone is still there. So we're gonna throw one more with the burner anyways, as Marshall broke the lane and he can't bowl anymore. Marshall cameo, by the way. The ball's nasty. I think I'm gonna like that one a lot. I'm borderline almost putting that one in my bag wherever I go. Right now the high road pearl fits that slot for me. The only thing that's stopping me is I can get the high road to get off it harder because it flares a little more, but this burner pearl is pretty nasty. So I don't actually know what the difference is between the afterburner and the burners. I know they have the same cover because they both say S62. These are both good looking bowling balls. But what I'm noticing out of this one, and this is leading me to believe that the core is stronger. It flares a little bit more, the layouts are pretty close, and it's a little smoother. I don't know why I don't throw that one more often, it's pretty gross. And by the way, gross, nasty, disgusting, that means the ball's good. Not because it's actually dirty, or gross, or disgusting. You get with the times, right? The kids say, that was sick! It's kind of like the same thing. All right, let's take a step left and see if we can get the curve. We'll give it one more shot. We're gonna try to hook the lane again one more time and not throw it over our left toe. <laughs> if you have this issue, it just means the pattern's kind of flat and you're outside of that window you wanna be in. You get so far left on a pattern sometimes, especially when you bowl sports shots, and the lanes just don't let you play there, so. So now I'm gonna go to my bag, grab one of my trusty Avalon pads and we'll see how surface affects these bowling balls. So I got a 2000 grit pad here, it's pretty beat, so it's probably more than 2000 now. But anyways, on tour, we like to take the shine off our bowling balls just because ball reaction gets a little too erratic at times. So 
We tame it down with a little bit of surface. Not really meant to make it hook a lot earlier. Get it to blend a little bit more. So a little bit of surface helps it pick up just a touch sooner, which blends the ball reaction. A few kids out there that play the back of the pattern and you're looking for your ball to hook a lot down lane, you don't want that. If you want a ball at a high level and you want a ball on harder patterns, you want your ball to hook before the end of the pattern. So if you're bowling on 33 feet, you want your ball to hook closer to maybe 31 or 30 feet. If you're bowling on 46 feet, try to get your ball to hook at like 40 feet. Don't play the back of the pattern. You want one-to-one -one roll. Why don't your ball doing this when it hits the pins, not this. Hockey stick, no good. You want nice blended banana. Maybe this. We'll make it closer to the afterburner. B-roll without having to slow it down. Also, this could kind of be illegal, but you're supposed to hit the ball with the same surface all around. You can't like scuff one specific area more than another. Do I have a thumb in this ball? Now I do. Hashtag vice. That's for Mr. Nakashima. Earlier, smoother, blended. If I didn't hit that with any surface, maybe a big four. Who knows? Probably me, because I've done it plenty of times. Oh yeah, come take a look, this is a good example. For both of our pearl balls here, I think this is a pearl, right? If it's a hybrid, my mistake. I'm not doing my homework, but the flare lines are thicker on the afterburner than the burner pearl, which tells me the core is a little stronger because the layouts are close enough to where it wouldn't make that big of a difference. And if they're the same, and it's just a re-release, then call me an idiot down below. That's not gonna strike! Do we wanna include her? We could have her do, <laughs> I should throw the shot and she should just be in the background. Just stand there. four pin the ear game fine we're gonna throw the orange one because it's hot like fire yes. what? she didn't do it oh you did <laughs> <laughs>